Hi friends, myself Gautam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, the point of discussion is how uh, you can create a new environment. Okay, uh, these are the points. I'll expand this uh, in full view. Uh, the point of discussion are mentioned here. How you can create a new environment? How you can check uh, which are the environment available in your system? and how to activate or use that environment and how you can install libraries or packages in bulk with and without uh, library version how you can install individual library and how you can check uh, libraries installed in your environment which are with version which are the library installed in your version okay then finally how you can uninstall a particular library. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, to start, I need to open a command from our Anaconda prompt. I'll open Anaconda uh, prompt. So I'm right now in base in environment. Okay. This is the base environment. To create a new environment, I need to write conda hyphen n, n means name of the environment, whatever you wanted to create. Give any name. I'll give yltf to yellow uh, transferflow to something like that. Yf, yltf2 then i required the version of python which version python i'll install pyth o n python equal to equal to 3.7.0 i required okay then i can conda i need to write here create Conda create, conda create. That is hyphen means uh, hyphen n means name of the environment, whatever you would like to give that. Then Python. This version enter. It is creating the environment. Okay. Please why yes to create the environment. It may take a little bit time based on the speed of the processor and the RAM all depends. So first, first is this, how to create an environment. This is going on, how to check which are the environment available in my system. That is the second point. This is still installing. Uh, if you want, you can forward directly the video. You can go next system. Okay, it's installed. So to check which are the uh, environment available in my system or whether this environment is created or not, we can write conda env that is nothing but environment list i record the environment list okay conda env list okay these are the environment you can see i have one environment base i have another en environment audio tf1 and this is the new environment which is created okay this this way on the env list you can uh, see what are the environment available in your system uh, then go to third point what is the third point how to activate or use that environment whatever the uh, created environment how we can use that to use this environment we need to write conda activate 
then the uh, environment name yl tf2 enter okay you can see here earlier we was in base environment right now we are in this environment okay then let's go to fourth point fourth point is how to install libraries packages in bulk with and without library version okay to do that we need to write pip install then hyphen r r means uh, run so from where it will run i need to give the path from where the bulk uh, file will be there libraries i will show how the uh, to install bulk libraries you need to have any txt file any file it may be different file also accepted i recommend go with txt uh, txt file and give any file name i had given requirements okay uh, and you can write all the libraries whatever you required to install one go and suppose if you don't want to put any version if you suppose let's take this uh, if you remove this okay then whatever the numpy latest version will be there that will be installed so if you record older version of any uh, libraries you need to mention the version name else if you record the latest version you don't re uh, require to uh, put the version name equal to equal to this this okay just you put the name uh, these are the libraries like that you can create your li own libraries uh, list then you can import this so uh, i record the path to be specified so desktop the file is on desktop this is the file i record this file i'll copy this file it may be c drive or it may be any drive okay it does not matter then i need to give back backwards uh, slash then I need to give the file name requirements dot txt enter it is installing if it is in different type you need to write e e semicolon whatever the path you can select then it start downloading all the libraries see if you don't have time to see all those installing you can forward the video and you can go to the next step and here uh, it may be any drive uh, d drive e drive c drive f drive it doesn't matter you just need to select the path whatever the part suppose desktop just go here you can copy this part from here it will take maybe a little bit time let me pause the video till it gets completed hi uh, i'm done with in installation i would like to show a uh, few more things and before that i would like to tell say if uh, in this requirement file if you have duplicate any values suppose scipy if we are writing two times with same or different version then you will get a error so make sure that you will not uh, put the libraries or packages uh, in duplicate okay it should be in single time no twice or thrice else you will get error that is one thing uh, next I would like to say here while you install uh, bulk libraries you might get sometimes error or uh, uh, 
maybe a warning message i would like to show here i got some error message because in some of the libraries if you install there are some of the dependency okay and again the installation depends on the internet speed also uh, i would like to show here see uh, this file is 1.6 mb 6 mb 1.3 uh, kb see uh, this transfer flow 2.3 is of 342 mb so if the internet is slow then it will take time so make sure that while installing installing the packages the internet speed should be a little bit good and to install this transfer flow there are some dependency okay that's why i got first error message for a few of the library these are installed perfectly then we got some error message so if you come down i would uh, I'll show you here what you need to do when you get any error message. Let me drag down. See here, uh, transaction two dot zero dot zero requires this, which is not installed. Suppose transfer board 2.0.2 required this which is not installed what you can do is you can uh, create another requirement file or another bulk file and here you can upload update those libraries suppose 6 6 is equal to equal to this version okay greater than equal don't write you can write equal to equal to this version this whatever the libraries uh, TensorFlow required or have dependency you need to install so what I did I created an other uh, file from where I installed the dependency libraries uh, in one go okay even if you install uh, twice a things uh, then you will get in a, from a single file you will get error message so then you can see all are installed perfectly okay this you can leave it uh, sometimes it happens uh, what we need to do is right now the next point was uh, till here we came to know how to install with uh, bulk libraries with version and without version without version means while giving uh, the libraries in the uh, requirement files you don't put the version then it will take the latest version whatever available okay how to install uh, individual library packages i hope everybody knows but let me show you quickly to install new libraries uh, single libraries i'll show how you can install you can go google and you can write suppose you want to install keras uh, you can write uh, keras uh, library latest version or something like that then you will get something like this you can take pip install keras this is case sensitive so when we write this it will install this version okay just copy this then you can write here pip install keras it will quickly done because it's a very less version the size is very less okay it's done install then what is the next point uh, how to check which are the libraries installed in my environment individual or bulk with version okay how we can check what are the libraries installed in uh, our system this means in this environment we can write pip freeze f r w -E e z e enter we'll get all the libraries with their version whatever install okay you can see all the libraries with their install version if you want to know particular library version uh, then you need to write pip freeze f r w -E z e freeze then you can write pipe symbol space then you can write uh, find str that is nothing but find a string say numpy I wanted to see the numpy version okay enter 
I got the NumPy version. NumPy, this version is 1.19.2 uh, is installed in my system. Okay. Uh, suppose if I want to uninstall a uh, particular library, let's take NumPy. Uh, how to do that? Pip uninstall NumPy, the library name. Okay. Enter. Yes. Why? I wanted to uninstall. Okay. Successfully uninstalled. That is clear. Then I would like to show few more things. Uh, suppose when you write uh, pip install say hyphen r r means run. If you give a path, suppose if uh, you want the previous path which you had mentioned earlier, okay, don't want it to write manually or copy paste from me. You can just do cursor up or down, you will get the path. Okay, okay. You can go up, down, up, 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 you will get the existing. Only cursor up, down, you can do. Okay, this is fine. And if you want to clear the screen, then what you can do, you can write CLS to clear the screen. It's clear. I hope uh, this is clear for everyone. If you really like this, video and if you feel that this video will help you please uh, support me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel thank you very much for watching the video